Evening folks, so I'm doing a little drone recording for a piece I'm working on. Uh, I just want to sort of maybe top, maybe tail the piece with just a, just a like 30 second drone. So I just want to demonstrate the patch I've set up. I've got the Vulcan modular set up here, as you'll see. Um, and the sort of oscillator section, everything's basically turned down. So we can just hear the, the, the basic sort of uh, pattern. We're playing a G. I've bypassed the AR envelope, so it just basically is a drone. And then the output of the filter comes into the arithmetic effect. That means we can turn the filter up. And we can hear what the Vulcan modular is doing. So we can change the oscillator section. stuff but what I've also got is I've got this little FMAM radio which is going into the CV input and then I've patched the output of the CV input this guy here this is going to the B of the arithmetic little sort of module and then the output of A plus B and then that I can mix using the using that knob there Right, so then I can mix in the radio noise into and that's just patched into that like micro tune, which is like, like a kind of reverb. Um, so it's not a super, not a super complicated patch, but it does allow me to do okay, Vulcan modular. Uh, let's turn the radio on. We can't hear anything because the mix of the arithmetic sort of modules down so we can hear the radio and we're hearing it through that weird micro tune like like the little reverb effects so if we change the tuning on the radio and that's am that's fm And obviously, we can mix in then, using the filter, the actual Volca as well. Very, very, very peculiar and odd. Um, is it too peculiar? We'll see. We'll go for a take. I might, we'll go for a take like this. I might do another take. This is just like Volca Modular Drone. Then I can almost add in radio noise later. But I mean, I'm just like interested in like how the two kind of signals interact with each other, which kind of produces something a bit sort of, sort of interesting. So... Anyway, I just thought again, this is this is, you know, not trying to teach you some great wisdom. It's just this is what I'm doing this evening. Um, oh, it's later than I thought. So I'm doing this evening. So I just thought I'd just do a little demo of it. I'll make a diagram of the Vulcan modular patch I'm using and I'll, and I'll put that somewhere other than the Patreon or um, just as, as a screenshot on the video. That's the video. We can have a little listen to what I've captured. So we've got the sort of the, the end of the song. Which is lovely and very nice sounding. It's weird it's weird it's weird it's good it's good it's good i'm going to keep that 
Now I do also have another track that just says radio, so I might just see if I can capture some just some regular white noise from the AM radio and mix that in. Um, cool. We've got a bit at the beginning and we also have, for the very first time, we have got a little bit of Saz in this. I can't really play the Saz, so it's got loads of effects on it. That's what, that's what, that's what, <laughs> that's what, that's my first Saz recording. It's literally a little two bar loop playing one note. Um, but uh, yeah, given that I've never played the Saz before, quite proud of myself for just managing that. Right. That's another track close to completion, which is currently called track nine. Good names, good names. Uh, do let me know. 